for so long. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley, and today I'm going to be sharing with you my spring clean with me. So here is my massive to-do list, and I know this may take a couple of days, but that's totally fine. I think it's just a matter of getting it all done and completed. So I'm going to show you a little preview of what I've got going, and then we're going to jump right on into it and start in my master bathroom. And this bathroom had clearly been neglected for a little bit and we do have tile showers and for some reason they always seem to get gunky or moldy I don't really know of how to prevent this from happening from time to time or in between cleanings we have tried using the tub and tile spray but it really doesn't seem to do too much for our showers so I always end up cleaning it with some type of bleach product so today I'm just going to be using a bleach foam cleaner just to get rid of all of that moldy buildup and soap scum and just dissolve all of that. And then I'm going to use the Scotch-Brite scrubber and just go to town on this sucker. So you'll see me clearing everything out of the shower and then I'm going to spray it all down and then get to scrubbing. I've been thinking that we're more than just friends. Oh yeah. Our shower rack tends to leave these little rusty spots on the tile and this barkeeper's friend is the only thing that gets this off so I'm gonna scrub this in really quick and do a quick rinse and you will see the result this stuff is simply amazing Now I'm using my Scrubbing Bubbles bathroom cleaner on our jet tub and then I'm gonna scrub everything down with the Scotch-Brite scrub brush. Catch you like every time that you fall I wanna give you the world The world that is outside your walls If I was God, I would save you Take you where you belonged If I could, I would get Something new, something new Then I would have what it takes Make you feel like you're safe Cause all I need is just some Someone like you, someone like you So I recently purchased the Rubbermaid electronic power scrubber brush 
and it has not come in the mail yet. I'm super excited to use it. But in the meantime, I've been using these Grove Collaborative Walnut Scrubbers and I absolutely love these scrubbers because they do not get mildewy and I can use them over and over again. So I'm going to scrub down the top of the tub with the Walnut Scrubber and then move on to the toilets. So I wanted to ask a question because this was something I haven't really thought about until just now, but I have a friend on YouTube that does not clean her toilets on camera because she just feels like it's kind of gross and people wouldn't want to see that. But I'm curious to know, is this something that you enjoy watching because, you know, of course this is like an everyday life chore and it's definitely not my favorite chore, but I feel like maybe it's some source of motivation to get this job done. Or do you just think it's kind of gross and you'd rather not see it? So I'd love to know what you guys think. And is this something that just is kind of like repulsive and you don't want to see? Or do you enjoy seeing this on my channel? Someone like you. So I picked up all the rugs from the bathroom. I'm going to give those a really good wash and then I'm going to throw in some of the Clorox laundry sanitizer as well just to kill any of those lingering germs. You stood me up, I wasn't ready, yeah, never ready, like a forbidden fool, I'm still craving for, I'm still So now I'm going to get started on my sinks and my countertops and I'm going to be using that same Scrubbing Bubbles bathroom foaming cleaner and I really do love this stuff because I feel like it really lifts all of the makeup that's stuck in the sink or anything that's just kind of gunked on. Um, the foam really seems to just lift it right up and it makes scrubbing so much easier. So I had not cleaned the top of this cabinet since fall and I did not realize how much dust had collected up here so you may see me making kind of some nasty faces because I was getting a little bit grossed out and I was like afraid it was going to get up in my nose so I felt like using the vacuum would help kind of suck all that up and wouldn't just push all of that dust around. So once I finished up with that, I started on the mirrors, just wiping everything down along with any of the light fixtures and the light bulbs. And you'll see here, there was a lot of 
dust that had collected up here too. I was just blown away at how much dust had collected at the top of my ceiling area from fall to spring. So this just shows you that spring cleaning is so well needed. So if you're needing motivation, you are in the right place because I've got all kinds of good stuff in here for you. So just keep on watching. We're like a broken wreckage ringing round and round all year. I know that I can do more. I know that you feel the same. Why do we keep playing all of these games? I don't want to go because your love is what I so as you can see, for the most part, I try to work my way from top to bottom. And so now that I've gotten all of the countertops and the fixtures taken care of, I'm gonna start on the cabinets and then work my way down to the floors. You know my friends think that I'm crazy cause you're all that I can see I hope that we will make it cause I'm falling here for real You know that I can do more, just wanna care for you babe Why we keep on playing all of these games I don't wanna go cause your love is what I want babe You know that I wanna stay this way forever So I have this love-hate relationship with baseboards and I absolutely love the satisfaction that comes from cleaning and washing your baseboards, but the process of it is just sometimes so agonizing. <laughs> so getting down the floor, scrubbing, obviously it's not super fun, but just seeing the instant result from washing your baseboards is just amazing to me. So it's something I absolutely can never go without when I'm cleaning the floors. I always go back to starting with the baseboard. So I'm curious to know, do you have a task that you kind of have a love-hate relationship with too, but it's just something that you just cannot get past and you absolutely have to do each time you clean the floors or your bathrooms? I would love to know in the comments below. Uh, I know that it won't be easy. Maybe we just do a So when I do spring cleaning, the one task that I know that is going to take the longest is usually my blinds and window treatments. Um, I don't really know of an easy way to get rid of this like gunk and dust that's just built up, but I did recently find a cool new tool that I found from a YouTuber here. It is called the Bissell Steam Shot and I saw her using this on her windows and I was like, I've got to get this. I've got to try this. If it makes my life a little bit easier and makes this process faster, then I've got to have this tool. And let me just say too, um, she is one of my favorite YouTubers. Her name is Jamie. Her channel is Jamie's Journey and she has tons and tons of cool little tricks and tips that she uses um, just to make the process quicker and easier around her house. So go check out her channel. You will not regret it. So now I'm just gonna lay these blinds into some warm bath water with a little bit of dish soap. And I did add a cup of bleach just to get these nice and bright and white. And again, I'm using this Bissell Steam Shot around all of the little crevices and corners that just are almost impossible to get the gunk out of. And this just released it. it made it so much easier to scrub and wipe down. And honestly, I really didn't have to do a whole lot of scrubbing. Normally my hands are killing me, my wrists are killing me just from scrubbing my life away, but this just made it so much easier, just lifted it up and all I had to do was wipe it away. So this is a really cool tool for something like this. 
And like I said, go check out Jamie's channel because she has so many tasks around her house that she uses this tool on. So it's great for all around the house and just those areas that you can't seem to get in those little nooks and crannies. This is going to be a go-to tool for you. Caught in the storm, do you remember? I told you if we dance in the blizzard, we are not getting cold. So keep on dancing, baby. So this is day two of my spring clean and I'm actually doing my spring cleaning in parts. So this is part one. I am doing my master bedroom and master bathroom. So I decided to go ahead and pull down all of the blinds in my bedroom and get those started just to kind of get this process rolling for day two. And because I know this is a little bit of a process, I had to take one down each at a time, kind of let it soak and then scrub. So you'll see me kind of go back and forth to the bathroom just to get these blinds good and cleaned before I hung them back up. Now I'm going to get started on my side of the bedroom and I'm just using a Swifter duster and the Method Wood Cleaner to get all of our furniture dusted and wiped down. Since I was working on the windows, I thought now would be the perfect time to use that Bissell steam shot on these window sills as well. These are the hardest things to clean and this tool made this so easy. I actually had to use a towel and kind of cover up my computer area because it was like literally just shooting stuff out of those little crevices. So this, this tool, I'm just blown away at how many areas of my home that I can use this tool in. So look how easy this was just to wipe away after using the steam shot.
Now I'm gonna go ahead and strip down all of the bedding, the pillowcases, get this good and washed and sanitized as well. course we can't forget about the little pup bed so I'm going to just disassemble this and get this going in the wash after our bedding is finished. So I had to stop what I was doing, wake up the baby, and then go get the kids from school. So when I got back, I started on my husband's side of the bedroom, taking down the blinds and the curtains and just dusting everything down here. But as you can see in the video, it does start to get dark. So I really had to get my little booty in motion and really get this done quickly so that I had everything put back up before bedtime. So this little lady, you know, she, if you watched my last video, you saw that she kind of went through a little sickness and for some reason she has been so drained. Even though she's not sick anymore, I feel like it took a lot of energy out of her. So she just got on my bed and kept telling me she was so tired, but I just told her, just lay up here. Mama's going to clean. And while I was vacuuming the fan, she fell asleep on my bed. So you'll see a little clip of her. I don't know what it was. She just, like I said, I feel like all the energy has just been drained from her. So I let her get a little nap before dinner time, but I just thought it was so funny that I had all of this going on and she just fell asleep and she did not wake up. So it just did not phase her a bit. So you'll see this little clip of her. She's so sweet, but I just kept things rolling and she got herself a little power nap. Sounds so stupid now, what I am trying to do, what I am trying to do, what I am trying to do is say I love you. Never up, never down, never like a theme in a song, clever. Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I wouldn't jump, oh what a fool
So after I got the bedroom vacuumed, I had to wake up Kerrigan so that we could go eat dinner. My husband arrived with pizza, hallelujah. I did not have to cook after doing all this cleaning. But after that, I finished up, we got the kids in the bed, and then I put all of the bedding back on our bed for bedtime and then the dog's bed as well. I never think I always do Never thought I wouldn't jump Oh, what a fool But if I fall I would get up again I would get up Alright, so this is the next day. I had already dropped off the kids to school got the baby fed and started right back where I left off during my toddler's nap time. So I wanted to start with dusting our dresser on this, the opposite side of our room with our TV and then get started on the baseboards and the doors and the door trim as well. And I felt like my body was going into like hyper speed mode because I knew that I absolutely wanted to get the carpets clean today. And I had to do that during nap time because the floors would be damp and with the toddler running around, I knew that was like my main task that I had to get finished today. So I know that this video is sped up, you know, just for the viewers, but I really wish in real life it would have been like this but I did feel like I was really just pushing myself to get this done quickly so that I could start on these carpets. So, you know, I love watching this um, sped up, but sometimes I wish this was real life and I could just click a button and speed up my cleaning so that I wasn't so exhausted after this. finishing up my room with the Hoover Power Dash carpet cleaner and this was so satisfying to do in this room I did not realize exactly how bad it was I mean obviously it was yucky and dingy but just pouring the water out really grossed me out and this carpet when I got it the description said gray and ivory but it was looking a little gray and brown at this point. <laughs> so just seeing the befores and afters just blew my mind. I was completely um, in awe of what this little cleaner can do. This thing was so affordable and so lightweight. You know, sometimes you get a little bit skeptical when you find deals like this with such a small product in comparison to like a normal heavy duty carpet cleaner but here you can see like the clear difference of the before and after it it just blows my mind at how much this little carpet cleaner can pick up i mean just look at it drawing all of the dirt and nastiness out of this carpet so if you're looking for a nice affordable like heavy duty but in a small compact form carpet cleaner this is an absolute go-to for $99 I mean honestly I would have paid $200 easily if I would have known this would have been the outcome but the fact that it was $99 just makes it even better so I'm gonna finish up cleaning this carpet and then you guys we will be done with this spring clean part one video and if you are still here, first off, thank you so much for sticking around. This helps my channel so much when you watch it to the very end. And I hope I was able to give you tons and tons of motivation to get your spring cleaning started and kicked off right. 
And if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that I was able to motivate you today as well. And I'd love for you to stick around and subscribe to my channel. That would mean so much to me. I would love for you to join my YouTube family. And I hope you all have a wonderful week and I will see you again in the next one.